All right. Shoo, shoo. Come on, baby. <laughs> Good morning and happy Wednesday, cool creatures. Today, and apparently Shoo Shoo is very interested in this lesson, we are going to be addressing an envelope. So you can see on this page, there is the representation of four different envelopes and we have four addresses to send. Now, come on Shoo Shoo. When we send a letter, when we address an envelope, in the top left corner is what goes the, what is called the return address. The return address, that goes right here in that top left corner. Now the return address is your address. If for some reason they can't deliver the letter to where it's going, where you're sending it, let's say they can't read the address or for whatever reason, the person there says, nope, we're not accepting any mail. It'll come back to you so you'll know that it hasn't been accepted, okay? So then if the return address goes right here, okay, where do we put, oh, Gracie. Come on, Missy Grace. No, oh, thank you, Sweet Pea. It's your first look at Miss Grace. All right, so. Our actual address goes right here. Now some people will put it in this bottom right corner. Some people will actually put it just all the way across the bottom here. Think about your handwriting and what is going to fit best. All right, so that's first. Now, second, we have to figure out how to write the address. So let's start off with number one. So I'm gonna put a number one here so that I know that I'm writing this here. Okay, and I'm gonna write it pretty big. My address starts with the street number. So four, six, three, five, Rainbow Drive. So I wanna actually capitalize Rainbow and the D for drive, and I'm gonna put a period afterwards. That DR represents drive, so we wanna capitalize the D and put a period afterwards. All right, then down here, this is going to be the city. So Covington is going to be your city. GA, oh, GA, which state is that cool creatures? I would love it if you would write on your paper today what the GA stands for, which state that is, and send me a picture. All right. Uh, I like to capitalize that. Shoo, shoo. They don't need to see your legs. All right. And then a comma and the zip code. Three, zero, zero, one, four. Okay, so if you take a look at that, I have a comma after my state. Right before the zip code, I have made sure to capitalize the street name and the drive and I put a period after that DR so I know it represents drive. Okay. Oh, my one thing I did forget is to put my name at the top. So let's go ahead and write my name here. And that it is April 22nd, 2020. All right. Now, so each of these addresses you're going to finish putting in the correctly written address. Remember to capitalize the street if it's an abbreviation. So DR would be drive. This CT right here is going to be court. So capitalize the C, put a period after the T. Okay, don't forget that comma there before your zip code. 
All right, cool creatures. The last thing to do on this page is pick one of the addresses to write correctly in a complete sentence. So your complete sentence might be, I am mailing a letter to, and then putting in the complete sentence, the completely properly written address. So I am mailing a letter to, and then picking one of these addresses to write in correctly, saying that you're mailing it to that address. All right, my loves. I will see you this afternoon in our Zoom meeting. If you have any questions about writing addresses, let me know. Love you, cool creatures. I'll see you soon.